what is up guys so today we are gonna be messing with the fuel pump already got it out got it out the tank i got the a quantum 340 fuel pump that's what we're gonna be putting in it because that is not work all this stuff so right now that's what we're gonna be putting on it so it looks pretty easy it shouldn't take that long and i was gonna get the the other one the smaller one but i was like it costs the same and why not just get the bigger one so if I decide to put a cam in it later or boost it, I already have something that's already a little bit bigger. So that's what we're gonna be putting right now. Let's get to it. Alright, so now I'm gonna be taking this off and then got a little clip over here you gotta disconnect. And then you gotta first you gotta take out this. Pretty much the same things, you had to put it backwards. And then I gotta splice the wires. I believe I gotta splice these wires. I splice these wires and connect it with these two. This, this one connects right here. So, let me see how I'm gonna do that right now. And then, we're gonna get to it. So I got the the hose cut, and one side goes on this side. Just pop it up. So one end goes on it, and then you gotta get the little clamp, and then. Let me get a screwdriver. So you gotta put the clamp at the bottom. Put one on each side. Pretty good for this side and then do the other side. So first you gotta put the clamp because then you ain't gonna be able to put it in. Damn shit. L snap o cup. Alright, so. Now this side. I got these connectors. That's what I'm gonna be using. Them. I was gonna solder, but I don't got a solder gun. And I just put, I got heat shrink put over it. So I'll be putting that connected to these. Connect the black one to the black one, and then the pink one, the red, you know, pink to the gray one. Alright, so I already made the connections. 
are getting together. So the pink goes to the gray and then the black goes to the black. I got some hinge string, I'm gonna put on each, one on each one and then I got a big one that I'll put on both of them. So, that and then, that's probably gonna be it for installing it. You're gonna see what else I need to do right now. Alright guys, so, just got done finishing with the fuel pump, I put the pre-filter on. Put some zip ties right here so it wouldn't really move around. My security. So, got these clamps tight. And I put this new, like, o ring type thing. Because it had the older one. It had this one. So, as you can see, it's pretty beat up. Alright, so now I'm going to put it in. Well, it's in and now you just gotta this little thing right here you can tap so it locks in place and then next video I'm gonna be doing my fuel lines from here already got my uh, the, my fuel pressure regulator because my intake doesn't have it is the older kind so basically that's it all right guys so like and subscribe check out my content for more more videos if you're new peace